Oh, that's f***ing cool. And that's how we completely destroy a power board on a leader one play. Nice. Hey guys, and welcome to the Quad Cop Review. I'm your host, Pepe Prawns, and today we're going to take a look at the Cadix Turbo SDR2. Now, this is one of the new cameras by Cadix, and we got ours from the Humming Store on Amazon, and there's some great people. They're helping out the channel, so do me a favor. Take a look at the links below. Check out their website. Um, well, I mean, check out their store on Amazon and see the products they have there. Now they're going to be looking at these videos so if you'd like to have them stock some more products uh, you know put it down there in the comments they'll take a look and maybe we can get it in the store um, but the, the key deal to this is that um, I, I got this from them I ordered it from them on Friday and we had it on Sunday so they're stocking the Amazon warehouse and shipping out of there so you're not gonna wait the 18 days or so on or whatever and the price is very 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 comparable uh, this I believe was dead on to a China shop so um, if you're a prime you know subscriber no shipping bing bang boom two days I have a brand new camera that I want instead of waiting forever so make sure again you check out those links below I'll have links to the store to this product right here after the video if you want it make sure you look for those links below and you can check it out and like I said they're helping us out now so uh, let's help them out by taking a look at what they've got to offer so let's get into the video we're gonna go down to the bench we're gonna check out what this guy's got in it we're gonna put it up on a quad we're gonna fly it and we're gonna compare it to the previous versions of camera now this isn't a side-by-side -side, so this is taking a look at what was and what now is so I'm gonna compare this to my Fox Ear Monster uh, which was the um, thousand TLV version so you know like gen 1 versus gen 2 so we can take a look at that and see what the differences are now you can check out the footage and make your own decision on that but let's get down to the bench okay guys let's open up the box and see what we got right off the bat inside we have our warranty card we've got our instruction sheet on how to operate the joystick that comes along so you can set all your custom settings that you'd like to set. I did mine right out of the box. We have the camera itself, which of course is the Kdix 3D R2. Now this camera right here is very, very close to your Monsters or this generic brand here or your Run Cam. Uh, it's just a little bit thinner, so you do need the mount to do it. So this is the mount here. This would be the mount for the side plates that we're going to use. It also comes with a mount for the bottom plate, if you so desire, and it also comes with the joystick I mentioned for changing your settings. Inside the package itself, we're going to have our accessories pack, which inside of that we have the wires for our joystick. We have nuts, bolts, things like that for mounting. And believe it or not, we also have some Allen wrenches for tools for the supplied nuts and bolts, which is interesting. That don't get that all the time. Sometimes you don't even get that joystick, so that's pretty nice. So we're not going to use everything here. Like we're not going to use this bottom plate, so we'll leave our accessories in there and uh, put that back let's put it down here I'm going to use this side plate one however because what we're going to put it in is mounted on the side so what I'm going to put it in is my four inch Japarula Armiton and uh, right now it is sporting a Foxier Monster 1000 TLV and we're going to put this 1200 TLV in and of course that's the Gen 1 monster that I have in there and they both are the 2.3 millimeters and 5 pixels so that is the same and this camera does come in 2.0 and other sizes so you can get that it's, it's easier for me because the wiring setup is identical so all I'm going to have to do is unplug pull out the other one and put the new one in and again a little bit different than these because this generic one for example has the OSD and some other cameras do right on the camera itself versus us needing the joystick. Now let's look at the specs. 
The resolution is 1200 TVL. The lens is a 2.3 millimeter and it does come in other sizes. The dimensions are 22 by 22 by 25. The image sensor is a 1.5.8 CMOS. The net weight is 5.5 grams. Now that's lighter than most, but not as light as all. The shutter is a rolling shutter. The F field of view is 160 degrees. Our recording formats are NTSC and PAL, changeable with the OSD. It's 16 by 9 and 4 by 3, also changeable in the OSD. It's 0 .001 Lux. It does have starlight. The DNR is 3 DNR, and the WDR is super scan. Now, if you want to take a closer look at the specs, look right up here to the right, and I'll have a card with a link leading to that. And if you take a look down below in the description and in the comment text, you'll also see some links to show you the site and look at the camera. All right, gang, so we got it all set up. As you can see here, we got our nice bright orange Kadix in there. So we're all set up in the Joparilla 4 inch. So we're going to take it out, do a little. I'm not going to do anything fancy. It's about to rain. So we're just going to. This is really isn't much of a yard bird either at 4 inch with the power this thing has. So I'm just going to do a little cruise. So uh, I also did the same cruise with my Fox here. So we're going to look at the Fox here and look at this guy. So we'll take a little cruise and uh, we'll see what it looks like. Be right back. Okay, guys, so this is the camera in action. Now, I do run in 4x3, so it does squish a 160 a little bit. But as you can see, the details are extremely strong. You know, the view through the camera itself is uh, better than this, of course, because we're, you know, getting analog reception through our DVR. But it's like, it's like flying through a of TV it's absolutely stunning um, it was quite shocking to me I actually wasn't expecting as good as it was so uh, we're just gonna buzz around here I just wanted you to see it in full size and, and you'll be able to see the details uh, in all the plants and grass and everything it's you know it's pushing it's pushing toward the HD quality uh, we're, we're almost there it won't be long now I think guys but uh, coming up next I'm gonna do a side-by-side -side for you and uh, We'll take a look at it against uh, what, you know, like I said, for simplicity's sake, we could call like a Gen 1 camera uh, of the same nature. So here it is side by side. So on the left is the Cadix, and on the right is our Foxier monster. So right away, I think you'll be able to tell the detail that's being kept versus um, the monster. The monster, uh, you know, is a lot more contrasty. We're getting a lot more blown out. Um, and the quality of the Kadix is, you know, quite a bit more. Now, uh, it's flipping from black and white to color because I went stock right out of the box. And it's actually on auto to switch between day and night vision, which I will be showing you shortly that it is close to being flyable uh, at night. So that's what it's doing there. When it sees some dark spots, it thinks it's nighttime. You can change that in the OSD very easily. So... Again, I hope, uh, like I said, this isn't a direct comparison to any of the other Gen 2 cameras, but just wanting to show you the difference between what those uh, Gen 1 cameras and Gen 2 cameras are now. So let's take a look at the black and white uh, nighttime stuff. So it's pitch black at my house. This is the Kadix, and as you can see, um, it you know, looks like any other surveillance type camera at night. You're going to get the lines in it, but you can see that, that I could easily fly this guy, and I wasn't willing to at this particular time because it, uh, I would have to find a place that was a little more open, but I figured I could easily show you outside that it's, you know, it's opening everything up where you can see the trees coming and so on and so forth. And uh, right after I show you this, I'm going to go ahead and show you that, you know, once again, basically Gen 1 camera, the Fox here, uh, in the same situation, only moments later, uh, in the same, uh, same place, uh, with that camera and you'll see what kind of difference I'm talking about here. So this is the Fox here and um, as you can see it's pretty blacked out. You could attempt to fly with this but like even that tree out there you might struggle a bit more to see it. Um, they all were a little bit of a low light cameras but you can see the forward we're going toward uh, really being able to fly it at night and if anybody's interested you know i have some places some open fields i really don't want to go through the trees at this point but i got some open fields where we could really put these to the test and uh 
see if we could uh, show you the difference in an open space where if I, I crash, I won't hurt anybody's cars or homes or things like that. I hope this video was helpful to you, and thanks for watching. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by and checking out the quadcopter review. If you want to see more interesting reviews on FPV related stuff, take a look up here in the old right corner right there. You'll find links to all the rest of my reviews. If you want to get in on some of the best giveaways on YouTube, look over here. Don't forget to subscribe right here on my chin. And if you want to check out my flying only videos separated from the review channel, check that out right here. And thanks for coming. Don't forget to subscribe and happy flying.